Last night when I was taking Penny outside, I heard our wonderful neighbor having a little rant. But one of our neighbors is this guy who likes to blast Johnny Cash and you always hear him over there drunk singing along with it. When I was outside last night, I just heard him, he obviously was very drunk, listening to his Johnny Cash CD again, I could hear it, his one and only CD that he owns. And he was yelling all these things like, ah, oh, you call yourself American? Yeah, retard, disabled, on disability, the rest of us Americans have to pay for you, and blah, 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 beep, 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 like, saying all these really awful things. And I know who he was talking to, the other neighbor in front of us who still hasn't moved, I don't know what happened with that. The guy who likes to go around with a shirt off, who asked me if I was emo, who always asks me too many personal questions. He still lives there. He is on disability. We cannot figure out why he's on disability. I have a theory that maybe his skin is allergic to every single kind of fabric and that's why he never wears a shirt. But other than that, I cannot figure out any reason that he's on disability. Based on how I've seen him, I don't know. I don't, I don't quite understand disability, but it seems like there's nothing wrong with him. Well, anyway. But this neighbor has told me that the Johnny Cash guy hates him because he's on disability. And he's even threatened to kill his cats because he's on disability. I don't know if I've lost you here. The Johnny Cash guy has threatened to kill the, the shirtless guy's cats just because shirtless guy is on disability. Sounds like good reason. But it's very clear that Johnny Cash dude's one of those guys who thinks that the reason he is poor and having a miserable life is because other people are on disability or other people have benefits. Which if you think that way, maybe you should t look at your own life and think, how did I get here? Is it because other people are getting benefits of some sort or is it because I'm a shithead? You've got to think about these things. Anyway, moving on. Isaac, I have a question to ask you. Do you want to see cats today? Okay. So that free cat thing I told you guys about, I guess it's actually going on today as well. It went on yesterday and today. It's just that the Facebook status I saw was from one of the shelters saying that their cats were already gone. I want to go to at least one of the other two shelters and see if they still have cats. I just want to see what's going on. I'm curious to see if it's like almost empty in there, which is great because there's never enough room or what's going on. Hopefully I don't go in and there's a cat there that I've been wanting for all these months and it's still there going, oh nobody wanted me because it'll be like, oh no. Do you want to see what I made? I actually made one a while back, but I screwed up on it and then over time, like it was fading and stuff. So I had to redo it anyway. It didn't look good. But I like this one. I think it's awesome and I love that it's black with white writing and it's all fun and it's easy to do. And it looks better than one of those signs you buy somewhere else saying no soliciting. Those are ugly. We just went to one of the shelters, the cat shelter I worked at, and there were two cats left uh, and they were both being looked at. And one is this guy named Tom, who is kind of older and I always liked, but he is not adopted yet for whatever reason. People are weird. It was really busy and it was so strange going in there because normally there are cats when you walk in. There's cats in every room, in every cage. It's full. It was empty. It was so weird. It was like they were closing the place. But now we're going to the Humane Society. I just want to see because when I went onto the website, they said there was one cat left. One. Poor cat named Oreo. And I want to see if it's still there, then that's that's sad. But I might as well look at dogs on there just for fun, even though they're loud. All the cats are gone now. They just have kittens left and Oreo's gone. But we did get to look at dogs. There's a lot of cute dogs. What I think they should do is like a half price adoption event at least with dogs because I know cats are harder to adopt out. I've looked at all the st statistics, but still there are a lot of dogs that don't get adopted and they need to be. So anyway, all the cats are gone. It was a success, I guess. Isaac's in the store right now getting something because my feet hurt. <laughs> my heel, like my shoe just completely 
tore up my heel basically so that sucks and I'm feeling really tired right now it's really strange I got what I would consider a proper amount of sleep last night but I feel like I didn't sleep at all I have the same exact feeling I have when I really don't sleep or if I've had a miserable night which I didn't we just walked around the mall forever for quote-unquote fun someone just pulled up to me and I was like oh I'll continue vlogging when they get out and go into the store but they're just sitting in their car with their car running I'm not sure what they're doing they're just sitting there I looked over and they were picking their nose at one point he's seriously just sitting there in the car looking straight ahead anyway as I was saying went into the mall for fun um, I don't know how fun it can be for somebody with social anxiety going in on a Sunday but yeah that happened so I had a little bowl of ranch dressing I was dipping vegetables in and guess who I caught licking it was it good did you like the ranch dressing it feels like a soup and sandwich kind of day